three functions, f of x, g of x, and h of x. And we handle these the same way as we did composition of functions when we were only working with two functions. And we're going to work from right to left. Here, instead of just asking for f of g of h of x, they're asking me for f of g of h of the particular value, negative 2. Okay, so I'm going to start out by looking for h of negative 2. So let's go ahead and find that value. So I want to find f of g of h of negative 2. So what is h of negative 2? Well, h is 2x squared plus 3. Therefore, h of negative 2, I would have to substitute in 2. I'd put a negative 2 here and square it plus 3. So this is f of g of 2 times negative 2 squared plus 3 which equals f of g of negative 2 squared is 4 plus 3. So this gives me 8 plus 3, which is f of g of 11. So starting from the right, I evaluated h for negative 2. That gave me 11. Now, this is a member of the range of h, and it's also an element of the domain of g because I'm plugging it in here as an input value. So now I need to find g of 11. Well, g of x equals 4x, so substituting 4x minus uh, 2. So substituting 4 times 11 minus 2. So that's what I'm going to be doing here. f of 4 times 11 minus 2 equals 44 minus 2 equals 42. So g of 11 equals 42. Finally, I'm just left with f of 42, so I need to evaluate f of x when x is 42. So that's going to give me, I simply substitute in, and that's going to give me 6 times 42, which is 252. So the result from this composition of functions is 252. Evaluating h for negative 2, finding that result, evaluating g for that result, which was th that h of negative 2 is 11, evaluating g for 11, finding that that was 42, and then evaluating f for that value. That concludes this session of educator.com. Thanks for visiting.